What's up guys, this is Shadowblaze Phoenix and this is part 7 of my Pokemon Conquest walkthrough. So, in this part we'll be taking on the Kingdom of Puglis. Uh, thank you for having a title that's easy to pronounce. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, even then I'm probably not pronouncing it properly, but I've heard everyone pronounce it Puglis, so I'm just gonna go with that. Um, yeah, this, this actually is a pretty difficult kingdom, I'm not gonna lie. Fighting types are pretty hard. Um, and it's not just, uh, it's hard It's hard to take them down, but in this one you don't even need to, it's uh, one of those banner collecting ones. But you'll understand what I mean by difficult once we actually get there. But I do have a very good strategy for this one and I, uh, it always pretty much works, but you have to, it's hard to actually execute it I guess. So, I guess, I don't know, you need to have, you need to make sure you have a lot of Pokemon. Right now this kingdom has 5, uh, I also have 5 which is good, so yeah. There are lots of fighting type Pokemon in Pugilus. Normal type Pokemon like Eevee and Jigglypuff will need to be careful. Yeah, that's definitely true actually. That's probably why this one's a little bit hard because, you know, you have Eevee and Jigglypuff. So two Pokemon are weak and who knows what other Pokemon you might have with you. So yeah. I just wish we had some Flying type or Psychic type Pokemon. And yeah, you could have a Ralts by now though. And like uh, from Violet if you got one. Like a Ralts. Uh, in the, uh, I believe the Sky Garden if I, sh I showed it. Yeah, there was a Ralts there if you wanted that. Um, you could go get that, which is pretty cool, and it would actually help a lot. And I could call reinforcements. The way it works is you can call reinforcements only if there's another kingdom that can that has like a stretch of land access, which Ignis does, and so does Fontaine, which I have Pokemon in both of them. So, yeah, but the maximum is six though. So I could add on another Pokemon on here, uh, like just choose one from one of these two kingdoms and put the Pokemon there. But it's okay. I'll just stick with uh, these three Pokemon. Or uh, five, sorry. And let's get on with the battle. My soul, this guy, I'm not even kidding. He's in every single one. When is he gonna shut up? No offense, but yeah. And I realize I'm saying no offense to a character that doesn't exist. But anyways, Kingdom of Pugilus. Blaze, look at this guy. He's so big. I've been waiting for you. Waiting? What do you? The so-called warriors of this area are pathetic weaklings. Invading their kingdoms would be no fun at all. Something that does seem to be kicking off in the north, but it's, that's still far away. And now you're here. I think this could be the most fun I've had in years. That's great, buddy. This is actually pretty uh, fast-paced music for this uh, play uh, for this kingdom, which is very fitting. You'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, as you can see, it's like a fighting arena type thing, which makes complete sense for a fighting type uh, kingdom. So yeah. Battlefield is supposed to have playing types. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, you can see the banners. There's four of them, uh, unlike the last one where there was three. So yeah, there's four banners in this one. And this one's a little different though. You have to hold all the banners, but you have to hold them all for five turns. So not even one of them can be taken away during those five turns. Or else you have to restart, which is why they gave uh, they give you 30 turns to finish this because they know it will take a while. Uh, although it usually doesn't take up to 30 turns, but yeah, the b banners are at the ring's edge. You know what that this means, don't you? It's a gamble, just like everything else in life. Those hit by attacks when at the ring's edge will fall down below. Yeah, so all those areas, if you get hit from there at like an angle uh, where you can fall off, basically, uh, which is yeah, every angle pretty much. Yeah, if you're in those areas, well, not yeah, every angle, but yeah, if you're in those areas, you can pretty much fall off if you are hit at the right angle to get fall like off so yeah you gotta worry for that first of all and you, then you're gonna travel your way back to the, uh, your ring and yeah so it's re really hard but the one thing about this place which actually makes it a lot easier is first of all um, yeah zooming in at the top screen let's look at his Pokemon he has a timber which is a fine type and yeah a good link I gotta say but yeah Machop yeah, another fighting type. Where, yeah, another one. He has another Timber, by the way. Uh, so yeah, he has a uh, Girder, which is the evolution of Timber, and then he has a Pan Sage, which actually does help a lot because of the fact that it's Vine Whip with the range that Vine Whip has, it can, uh, you know, it can even throw off uh, multiple Pokemon. So yeah, the thing is, oh wait, uh, yeah, the thing is. Um, there's only one entrance into the, uh, there's actually two entrances, I mean, but, like, pretty much one entrance for each of us, because he's not going to travel all the way around to get in, that's pretty dumb. The reason I said, uh, the strategy for me is, 
Uh, it's first of all good to have a lot of Pokemon because it does help. Like if it gets a little crowded in here, uh, in like the rink and stuff. First of all, they're gonna all try to get in here, right? So first, like off, you're gonna be pretty equal in collecting the banners. You're probably gonna collect like let's say two or something, and they're gonna collect those two. Then they're gonna start trying to knock you off. Now what you wanna do is you wanna. Uh, the thing is, they have no flying type Pokemon. Flying types and anything that can have really levitate can just get back up on a uh, arena without going all the way around. But fighting types and you know grass types, pretty much everything they have, they can't do that. So if you knock them off, it's good. The fact that you have the first turn since you're the challenger really does help because you're gonna spend this turn capturing these two. They're gonna spend. Um, they're also gonna spend the capturing them. Um, actually, that's not a good idea. Put it over here so it can't fall off. You're gonna spend it too, but then after that, you have a turn to, you know, spend to knock them off. Try and knock off as many as you can. Then, when you've knocked off pretty much all of them, you can spend the time on, you know, capturing all four of them. By then, you already have at least one or two. So, you just have to spend a little bit of time capturing a few of them. Then, what you do is you block off that entrance. You block off the entrance that they take. This always works because um, pretty much you have to capture it for five turns, right? So you can pretty much, you have pretty much have to make it so you can hold off on the entrance for five turns. If you can do that, you're safe. Now look at this guy. Um, he's making it. Okay, fine. That's. Oh, come on. Piplup hasn't done anything yet ever since I got it. Let it give it a chance. Torrent boost. That's great. Okay, actually, it's gonna do something good. Um, anyways, like I was saying, he's leaving it so two of his Pokemon can actually fall off. So, um, I also have a pan seed. I'm gonna try to do something with it. I don't know. Uh, first off, I'll make you fall off. I'm kind of worried about all these fighting types. Uh, Eevee really is in trouble, I guess, but whatever. Um, Piplup, sorry, but I'm, you're gonna do something kind of important, actually. They got this thing. Now, sadly, these three, like, in a row, these, uh, these three, I can't actually make them fall. So I'm that's kind of a problem right there. I'm gonna try to get as much damage as I can though because wow I can do about a lot of damage actually. Um sadly it's not enough but it's a lot. And I'm gonna take this to capture because I'm actually protected right now. And okay. I'll do this. Uh thankfully I can actually take this thing out. And you know Dharma Market doesn't take much damage because it's fire type. And okay, now it leaves only two Pokemon left. Uh, yes, okay, so that thing can fall off now. Sadly, oh, never mind, I was gonna say sadly, uh, Pippa will have to faint. Actually, might still have to, so I don't know. By the way, that bell right there, if they hit it and like make it ring, their Pokemon's attack will rise, but yeah. Anyways, okay, now we're all set to activate our little strategy. First of all, I'm gonna. Hmm, let me see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'll put Dharamok up front. It's always good to have as many things as possible blocking. Um, yeah, I'll make you wait over here and Piplup, up, take out. Well, not take out, but push this thing off. By the way, if you don't KO these things, so you can't really recruit them. I'm, I have no interest in recruiting any of these, so I don't really care. The only thing I could probably recruit is uh, Pan Pork, I mean Pan Sage, because I took it out so quickly, but. If you don't take out these, uh, you know, Machops or trim Timbers or anything like that, if you want them, you might want to take them out. So, yeah. And now, it's, uh, you know, we have the place blocked and everything. And they're going to have to take us out to actually get in. So, yeah, now it's time to, next turn, I'm going to spend it actually capturing these banners. And after that, we're going to have to kind of do this for five turns. So, hopefully, we can do that. So I hope I was able to explain my strategy properly and stuff. Probably wasn't because I'm not the greatest at explaining stuff, but you know, it's kind of you can kind of tell what I'm doing from just watching. So there we go. I got all four banners right now. So I'm gonna have to protect protect them for five turns. And yeah. And actually, that wasn't such a good idea to put uh, this guy because I need. I want to at least. I still want to get some damage off on these things just for the sake of. Uh, um, for the sake of actual, I don't know, I just want to take things out because it does, it helps with the whole link strength and stuff like that, so I want to raise that a lot. So I'm, I am going to take uh, these things out and I guess Pan Sage could use a little bit more of that, so yeah, I'm going to leave it up there and yeah, this thing's going to do a lot of damage. Look at that damage, so 
that's why you need a lot of Pokemon like blocking because it, it's guaranteed like that you're gonna get like one of your Pokemon is gonna faint pretty much because it's really hard. Thankfully the banners heal you up, but anyways, uh, I need one Pokemon over here like in this area because if let's say this thing gets KO'd, they can actually move over here and knock this off, and it could get a lot, a lot more complicated. So what I'm gonna do, leave Jigglypuff over here. Not the greatest idea actually because of the fact that. Jigglypuff is in fact a normal type but now with that formation I'm completely safe because even if he takes a fancy he's blocked on all three sides sadly though he could knock out Piplup but yeah I'm gonna have to hope that Pansy can kind of uh, you know do something like not die right away it, it's a little bit more on a complicated side I guess let's see Pansy yeah you really can't do much can you and yeah uh, let's hope that this ends well and hope for a miss or something I don't know what move is it even using okay you can't really get a miss for that um, now I'm gonna use uh, sweet song really really like irresponsible right here cuz I'm actually just gonna use it right now to heal up just Pansy even though that's a horrible idea and that's a complete waste of an amazing uh, warrior skill but just because I I have four turns left, okay, basically in four turns I can win this. I need Pansage to stay alive as long as possible. Um, it just will help. So yeah, I'll try to get as much damage off as I can. Maybe I can get some criticals, like lucky criticals here and there. But other than that, really, there's nothing to do. So I'll just end my turn. So yeah, these guys have three turns to basically take up my. Pan Sage and knock off my Piplup. That's kind of the problem. Knocking off Piplup isn't too hard of a task. But the good part is since it's just one path, none of his Pokemon are going to be attacking except that Girder. The strategy works a lot better if uh, you took, you kind of knocked them off in a different order, because that would make, uh, let's say, it'll either make like Machop or maybe in Pan Sage, but like it'll make different Pokemon in the front. So if like let's say Machop or Timber is at the front, front this is a lot easier because of the fact that. You know, it, they won't hit as hard as this thing. This thing hits actually very hard because of, well, yeah, the fact that it does. Um, I could switch Pokemon around, but really, I don't know anyone that can take uh, the hits really well. So, I could maybe, well, I already attacked the Pantage, so I can't really do anything now, but maybe next round I'll decide to switch just in case. Um, really, no point. Well, I don't know what he's even doing. Because the only Pokemon that can do anything at this point that might lead him to winning, I mean, Really, all he needs to do is capture one of these, just one, and he's good. He just needs to capture one of them, and he pretty much saved himself from losing. Doesn't necessarily mean he wins, but remember, if time runs out, you lose. And oh, thank you, Jigglypuff, you just guaranteed my win right there. But yeah, remember, if time runs out, you do, uh, you do lose. So yeah, it's not like a tie or anything. You actually just lose. And I'm gonna actually try this out, and that might have just cost me the match. Actually, no, I'm not going to take a chance. Uh, I'm going to put you back over here. Put you in the front. Or actually, just fight it, actually. That's better. Um, That's probably a bad idea. I might wake up now, but I'm willing to take a risk. And I shouldn't have done that. Um, I need... Uh, okay. You know what? Really nothing I can do at this point. Um, I, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm going to keep it here because of the fact that... There's still no way technically for him to get one of these unless he raises the range of one of his Pokemon and he makes sure that he KOs Darmaka pretty easily. But he's wasting uh, these things' turns right now. Look at him; he's just wasting the turns of all these, except for um, the one Timber. And yeah, see, another thing is his move actually knocks you back. And oh wow, he actually hit that side. That's really dumb. But oh, actually never mind. He's here forever now. So one more turn. He, I think he just cost it for himself. He has this last turn to try and do something. So, um, hmm. what am I going to do right now? I'm just trying to think what he would do. Uh, yeah, I'm actually in big trouble because he can get this no matter what at this point. I actually made a huge mistake. All my fault uh, that this is going to happen. Uh, let's see. Can I somehow take this thing out? Maybe he'll do some dumb move, I don't know, if I'm lucky. And I'm just overthinking it, but his strategy, if it works, like, he can knock off my Piplup, and Conkler can, or, uh, sorry, Girder can just go through like this. 
Um, and that means he saved himself pretty much. And with one turn left too, you, you gotta give the guy props um, for that. And nope, I can't take that thing out. Um, uh, I can just keep. I could just keep on attacking this thing. Maybe I'll get lucky. Sorry, uh, Jigglypuff, but I gotta do what I gotta do. And yeah, nope, not enough damage. Um, maybe. Okay, if I can get, let's say, three criticals. Wow, nope, I miss altogether. Um, nothing really to do with Eevee, so yeah. Um, I don't know why he's wasting these turns with these Pokemon, which he doesn't need to. And wow, he just cost it for himself right there. Um, I won thanks to AI stupidity. Uh, that is awesome. I don't really care. I mean, I would have won either way anyways uh, before. It was just me being stupid and making some careless mistake. Uh, but yeah, thankfully, that is the game, I believe. Yes, it is. Victory! We didn't. Need, we only took out one Pokemon. That's the thing with the banner ones. You really don't need to take them. Uh, take out the Pokemon. So yeah, and yeah. And I can recruit Pansage, of course. The one Pokemon I already have, I can recruit that. Phew. You're a worthy winner. But this is all part of the rich tapestry of battle. Victory tastes all the sweeter once you have known the bitterness of defeat. And that's actually completely true, I gotta say. Anyway, congratulations. You won a battle that will be talked about for years to come. Yeah, that was actually pretty hard. I mean, look at the time. I mean, it took that long to beat this guy. I didn't even explore this kingdom yet. But most kingdoms really don't have anything to explore, so yeah. Um, I have a... Okay, whatever. Anyways. I will place a you. Oh, actually, you're going to be automatically on my team, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to have to make you march then. Congratulations, Lord Blaze. You, know you now have seven kingdoms under your control. Are you always as pleased with yourselves? Ah! Surely you are aware of the crisis facing Ronse as we speak. Meanwhile, in Gotham City, I'm joking, Nobunaga, who had been gathering his forces in the north of Ronse, had conquered eight kingdoms himself. Just two kingdoms remained. Terrera, under Shingen's command, and Elusio, Kenshin's kingdom. Both were renowned throughout Ronsi as warlords of great strength. Indeed, even Nobunaga himself was said to fear them. So, what if Nobunaga captured those kingdoms? That would be terrible, no one would be able to stop him then. So do I have to say that what we're all thinking? I guess I do. Blaze, you gotta get Shingen and Kenshin on your sides. There are no other options. And yeah, so now these two kingdoms are open up to us. Um, we can't really do anything about that though, because first I gotta go into the next month. And yeah, we can challenge those two now. Uh, you know, you can choose whichever one you want. Um, first of all, I'm gonna go and explore. Actually, first I'm gonna make uh, the one this passage right here march away to some random kingdom over here I guess anyways time for some exploring in Pugilus let's see uh, there's the park um interesting there's shop and there is gold mine for gold you know you can mine for gold park really there's only one Pokemon which is a uh, scraggy uh, that's actually a pretty interesting Pokemon honestly um, I could go for that I guess maybe I should um but really we are low on time right now so I guess um, I'll decide that off screen and if I do decide to capture I'll show it in the next part but anyways um, I guess that is it for this part so in the next time uh, next time we'll be taking on Lucy or Terrera actually um, or actually both technically but in different parts because um, whichever one you choose it's a little bit different like the way it works like the ending of the battle I guess you can say like what happens because if you battle Terrera, um, well, actually, I'll, I'll explain it in the next part. But, anyways, because um, we're actually, we're, yeah, it's already been like about 20 minutes. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time.